21st Century Trends in Property Regimes Progressive Commons The ownership of goods, including both material objects and immaterial goods such as intellectual property, is defined by property regimes. Property regimes are sets of rules that define ownership. They determine who can own goods, legitimate ways of acquiring and using them, and duties associated with owning them. Two important categories of property regimes are private property and common property regimes. Private property regimes focus on ownership by a single person or entity, while common property regimes involve ownership by several people or entities. Nina Gemeiner and her colleagues from the research project Right Seeds explored the recent emergence of a class of property regimes known as progressive commons. In their paper, the researchers first highlight the link between historical periods and different types of property regimes. For instance, since the 17th century, private property served as the route to freedom, enabling individuals to own the objects of their labour. This gradually paved the way towards the modern capitalist emphasis on private property as means to promote the economic prosperity of society. Even societies where private property regimes are predominant encompass some common property regimes, such as those related to patents, which are only granted for a period of time, after which innovations are commonly accessible. For many goods, common property regimes exist parallel to private property regimes. An example are crop seeds, where some are sold by companies and others are collectively stewarded by groups of farmers. The environmental, economic and social challenges characterising the 21st century are prompting changes in property regimes worldwide. Notably, they are increasing the perception that many resources should no longer be private or government-owned, but rather considered common. This change is a protest against the increased commodification of goods, human-made climate change and ecological degradation. As traditional property regimes fail to address these challenges, new property regimes are emerging, named progressive commons. Progressive commons aim to remove private ownership of both natural and artificial resources and of goods that are immaterial, such as digital and cultural information. Their goal is to allow people to reclaim access to resources that were made inaccessible by politics or capitalism, while increasing sharing and solidarity. The characterising feature of progressive commons is that they are driven by a political and ethical protest against enclosures of property, with the mission of fueling sustainable change. Ultimately, they are guided by three key values – sovereignty, or allowing individuals and communities to access the resources necessary for their well-being, redemocratization, or the reorganisation of society by reclaiming previously commodified resources, and social and ecological sustainability, which entails protecting natural environments and promoting long-term welfare and stability. The recent work by Gemeiner and her colleagues outlines the ethical underpinnings of progressive commons regimes, explaining how they can tackle the unique challenges of the 21st century. Their study paves the way for new investigations into the emergence of progressive property regimes in different sectors.